everybody. In this video, we're going to introduce a new data type called a MATLAB function handle. And the motivation for this is, let's think about first what kinds of functions we've defined so far in this class. So we've defined uh, functions that is input, maybe take a number, a real number, um, maybe an integer, um, or they take in vectors or arrays. Um, but there's plenty of situations where you might want to have a function that as input takes a function. So maybe that sounds strange, but it's actually a very natural thing to want to do. So for instance, maybe I want a function where you give it a function and it takes the derivative, or it computes some integral along a certain interval, for instance. Um, maybe you want it to find zeros of a polynomial. So particularly in numerical analysis, there's many situations where we want to have a function of a function. And up until this point, we haven't kind of seen syntax that's going to quite work. So here I have a function ev5 that I've already kind of put a skeleton together of. So uh, you'll see in a minute why we call it ev5. It stands for evaluation at 5. But what I want this function to do is I want it to take a function f as input and its output return f at 5. So that might seem a little bit silly um, because if I have the function f, I could just evaluate it directly at 5. But this is a good example to show how function handles work. Um, and anything more complicated than this, I think, would also kind of complicate understanding function handles. So let's leave it like this for now. And our first idea might be to say, OK, well, I'm going to say y is equal to f of 5. And I'll save it. And let's go back to the command window. And now I might try calling, OK, so ev5 of x squared. And you can think about what do you think is going to happen. So here we get this error. It's saying unrecognized uh, function or variable x. So maybe the problem here is that x squared is our own function. So for instance, MATLAB already knows about sine, for instance. So I could try uh, like sine of 5. And this gives me an answer. So what if I tried something like ev5 of sine? And we can see here, well, this still gives an error because we don't have enough input arguments for sine because it, it's saying it wants us to have this of 5 here. So the way we're going to fix this is by using what's called a function handle. And the key symbol for this is the at symbol. So for instance, if I want to do ev5 and I want to plug in sine, I can say at followed by sine. And you can see here, this re uh, returns sine of 5. So here's negative 0 0.9589, same number here. It's a little bit more complicated when we don't want to use a built-in function. So let's go back to the example of x squared. So I do ev5, and then what I do, I still have the at symbol, but then I put parentheses, and then I tell MATLAB what variable am I going to be using. So I have at x here. And so that's telling MATLAB, OK, whatever comes next, the function is in the variable x. Then I have x squared. And now I can see it returns 25 as we would expect. So another example we can do is I can say, let's let z equal to 13. And now let's say I define g to be the function handle at. I want my function in the variable z. And then I want z squared. So again, what these parentheses do is it says I'm about to define a function in terms of the variable z. And we can see here g has the function handle data type. And one thing I want to emphasize is that the z here has nothing to do with the z that we have defined here in the command window. So for instance, I can do g of 5. And that's going to give me 25. So this is independent of the variable z in the workspace. Maybe one more thing I want to show you. So let's say I create a new function. And I want the output to just be a number. Let's call it z. And I'm going to call this function two variables. And let's have it be in terms of x of y and y. And I want z to be the function. Let's make it x squared minus y squared uh, plus 1, let's say. So then now I'm going to save this. Let's go back to the command window. So 
I want to show you that we can create function handles with functions that we've defined by ourselves. So here we defined two variables. I can say at two variables. And I can see here that it's a function handle and I didn't assign it any variable, so it's just stored as a and s for answer. But now I could say answer of, and let's do two comma two for instance, and we can see that returns one. So what's happening here is it's saying, okay, remember answer corresponds to the function handle at two variables, and then we're plugging in two for x and two for y. So then if we go back to two variables, we have two squared minus two squared plus one, that's just one. So that was a quick introduction to function handles. I think this is a good place to stop the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.